practice today, which is up to the homework. Let me go back to this setting again. Here's something vibrating. And there was the spring force, that's the main force. There is a very small force involved, that's a friction. And then in the right hand side is regardless of where it is and how fast it's moving, we're adding its external force. Then it, this is the system, right? And we were solving this equation. And I think I went to, they have these things. But let me go keep going back there and explain. So if the vibrating system is like this, there's almost no frictions. Can you solve this y double prime plus 25 y equals 0? Easy, right? What are the fundamental solutions here? It's even homogeneous solutions. Cosine of 5x, sine of 5x, right? So whatever that um, the answer is. So I sketched it. Here's one example. The general solution requires C1 and C2, right? If you throw in C1 and C2, cosine 5x and sine 5x, it looks like this. Of course, um, it's like perpetual motion because friction is so small. So let me go back in and here. So if I throw in this one in here, this is a frequency of 4t. So it's slightly different frequency, right? What is the amplitude? 1 tenth. So this amplitude here, what is the one amplitude here? It's like almost 0.5. So compared to that, this guy has very, very small amplitude, right? Even if it is a large amplitude, because the frequency is different from this, the main body frequency, which is 5 here, turns out they just pass each other. They never interfere. You know that you know, if they're different frequency, they're just going to pass each other. So if you sketch that, with uh, the solution is this. 1 over 900, if you go through and solve for k, sine 4x and here's a small amplitude of the main system this is the fundamental solution and together you can see this because the amplitude is so small it's not going to interfere this one but it changes slightly because we don't see it because amplitude is so small does that make sense this is a fundamental solution this is mainly how things vibrate and if you put that small amplitude different frequency thrown in there it affects like this linearly but it doesn't really affect, still the amplitude is even smaller in there. But, you see the third one in here? It's different. I'm throwing the same amplitude, but what about the frequency here? Same frequency as the fundamental solution, so how is the solution of this one looks like? You know how it looks like. You have to multiply by x, right? You have to multiply by x to solve this problem. So here is a 5 you know, in there, and if you very, very small amplitude, but you're vibrating in the same frequency, it doesn't matter when you vibrate, it doesn't have to be matching the peak, just vibrate exactly in the same frequency, and how does the solution look like? It's going to have x in it, right? x times sine x in it, I think it's, this is the picture, this is the solution. Here's the main solution, your fundamental solution here. And I throw in additional solution, that particular solution has x in it, right? x in it. But you see that um, amplitude is very small. So up to 10 seconds later, you don't see anything. This amplitude is so small, right? But I go to 1,000 seconds later, because it's squeezed into 1,000, you see a lot of vibration. But see, amplitude begin to rise, right? And if I go one more higher to 2,000 seconds later amplitude is getting higher and higher but all you do is a very very small vibration but just match the perfect frequency of the main body and then this one is predicting it's going to eventually shake longer and longer and very interesting and as far as I know this analysis of why this bridge collapsed in 1940, they analyze it, amplify the amplitude and more and more, and, and this is filmed. And this guy just, I'm just going to walk away. I have 1,000 seconds left. And here is the Tacoma Bridge. And with the exact frequency, small amount, you, you don't require a whole lot of force, just a small amount just vibrate exactly the same frequency, you're going to collapse the bridge. Alright? Don't go to Tacoma.
right okay so I will finalize the mock test and all the way up to study today will be on the test